five, four, three, two, one. We have lifted. Vehicle's pitching down range. Chamber pressure nominal. All right, we're a little over 40 seconds into flight. 33 out of 33. Ship, avionics engines. power and telemetry nominal. Getting good call outs, healthy systems on the booster as it starts to pitch over over the gulf. We are through the period of maximum dynamic pressure, max stress on the vehicle as it continues to fly. Our next major event is going to be hot staging, which is ha happening in just over 90 seconds from now. Uh, to get ready, the booster will shut down all but three of its Raptor engines. The clamps holding the two stages together will release, and the Starship second stage ignites its engines. Boost back start startup. Separation. Stage separation confirmed. We've got six engines running on ship. Booster is doing its boost back burn, continuing now towards its splashdown site in the Gulf. Ship we have seen all six Raptors nominal. lit up on ship. All right, here we go. Landing burn startup. Looks like we got 12 of those 13. Down to three, including one of the middle ring. Down to two. Nice little hover. And landing burn shut down. And into the gulf, here we come. And the booster has splashed down. Incredible flight for booster today. Meanwhile, back in space. All right, shut down the vacuum engines. Ship engine cutoff. We shut down those center three. Successful ship engine cutoff. But today we also have some actual payload on board and those simulators that Starship will be deploying. Um, we'll see coming up here in just a few minutes. These are dummy satellites that are about the same size as our V3 Starlinks. Uh, we have eight in the Starship Pez dispenser and expect to deploy at a rate of about one per minute, as Dan mentioned earlier. There we go. Pew <laughs> Been waiting way too long to do that. There we go. There goes another one. Yeah, there you go. One remaining. So seven of the eight have been deployed. One more to go. And then we will have completed our first ever payload deploy operation. Just a reminder, we're on a suborbital trajectory. These satellites on that exact same suborbital trajectory, they're going to burn up uh, entirely and are on that same trajectory towards the Indian Ocean. So the last one has been deployed. Starlink simulator payload complete. Heck yeah, everybody. <laughs> Loving the energy from Starbase and Hawthorne. 
All right, so about 55 and a half minutes in, you can see the sun is up. Again, we intentionally designed these flights to lift off in the evening here so we get these daylight views so we can get as good a video as possible on the ship, assuming we make it all the way down. We've got at least one buoy powered by Starlink that's out there in the landing zone in the Indian Ocean, hopefully giving us a view again. If you see any live views uh, not from the ship itself, that means we nailed our landing target. Starship is past peak heating. So Starship's doing its belly flop right now. We're going to do the flip. Swing out. Let's punch through some clouds first. Here we go. Starship landing burn start up. Seeing three engines. There's our flip. There's a buoy. Oh There's a splashdown. Hey.